Hi everyone, this is Joel Nelson here. I want to talk about the number one mistake I see while people are fishing tungsten ice jigs out on the lake. You know, when you're fishing tungsten, it's a really heavy, heavy, dense material. And in many respects, people are fishing larger jig sizes than they used to be fishing, which means that the bait itself, because tungsten is more dense and heavy than lead, even creates more pull down on that rod. So when people are fishing these long, you know, 36 inch, ultra soft, whippy noodle rods, you're out on the open ice, the wind is reacting with it, shaking the tip, the bait is pulling it down quite a bit and really hampering your ability to detect bites. It also hampers your ability to fish it cleanly. You want control over the rod tip and control over your jigging motions and strokes. So one of the things that I recommend is to switch to a slightly shorter and more stout rod. This is a tuned up customs bullwhip rod. It's a noodle rod, but it has a stronger butt section and a slightly trimmed down noodle section as well. So as you can see, it can support the weight of this tungsten jig really well. And you'll also notice it's more in the 32, maybe 28 inch length. Hey, that's so when you're out on the open ice, the wind's really blowing, you can kind of hide that rod behind you, put your back to the wind, and it makes sure that that wind isn't vibrating the rod tip and giving you false indications of bites. Now, tungsten is all the rage the past couple of years. You can see a bunch of tungsten baits out in front of me here. And what tungsten has allowed me to do, it's allowed me to fish the biggest baits that they make while still being small enough for big bluegills to take them in. So the thing you have to remember though, is when you're fishing baits that are on the upper end of the tungsten size, they really load down that rod tip. So again, if you can pick a rod that's a little bit shorter, has a slightly more stout noodle section, and definitely a good backbone to set the hooks on those big bluegills, it's gonna help correct that number one mistake and really help you put more panfish on the ice this winter.